Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. So I'm gonna give you a quick tour of what the cannas look like. Now, I have some videos earlier this year where you can see where I started them from tubers, but now they are just, they're huge and I need to update you. So here goes one that I planted in a bushel basket. I planted it in with colises and nasturtium and I'll link that video where I planted these, but just take a look. This plant is so tall. I apologize for the traffic. I live on a corner and we get a lot of traffic and it's all day long. So it's very difficult to film, but I do it anyway because I like to share my garden. Look at this, huge. Now I have one over here and I'll also share my banana trees with you guys in this video too. So here's another canna. It's also in a bushel basket planted with colas. I don't think this has nasturtium, but it has a moonflower vine. Gorgeous. These plants are at probably at least eight to nine feet tall. Just huge, huge. So here's that same canna from another view. And then let me show you my bananas. So here's one and remember I got the bananas free from Facebook along with the canna plants. So the bananas have, both have at least two babies. Two, they both have two babies in the pot. And I'm not sure if these are hardy bananas or not. So I am gonna bring them into the basement this year. They are so beautiful. They definitely give the garden that tropical vibe. And here is the other. So beautiful. So bananas, canna lilies, elephant ears, caladiums give the garden those tropical feels. Um, with the colises, you can add those in. They, in all different colors, they give a nice tropical vibe in any color scheme that you want so i have a couple more canna lilies that i want to show you guys so let's head over to that area don't mind the mess we just moved the chicken coop out over here so that the chicks can start getting some time in the coop. So it's it's a wreck right here. I've yet to clean it up. So we just moved it. So there are two pots full of canna lilies. There, and let me walk up there. See, I just wanted you to see how tall they are. I know it's hard to tell in a video, but they are so tall. They're underplanted with veggies and colas. The veggies are in the fabric pots, the orange pots, and then the colases are planted in the same container with the cannas. And then I have another canna here the same pot and i'll link the video where i planted these so you guys can kind of get a before and after now my this just looks awful don't even pay attention my tomatoes i have not been on top of my tomatoes this year so they look raggly so this pot here 
is not as big as this pot for some reason this pot is just huge i mean everything in it is just growing so well and they're all doing really good um this one is doing good even though it's smaller it's still doing really really well I'm very pleased with these cannas. I am going to keep them over winter and doing that I will dig them up, cut all the foliage and roots off, let them dry up, and then um, store them in a paper bag. And it looks like we've got some seeds up there, seed pods, so I'll definitely be collecting seeds if possible from these plants. These cannas are so beautiful, you guys. I have enjoyed them so much this season. I'm so happy that I went and got them from Facebook and it wasn't shady, like a shady deal, I guess. <laughs> They're always watching me when I come outside. Those are my babies. And here are the red cannas that I have in the ground. I do have some other green cannas that I planted in containers in the front, but this video I'm just talking about the free cannas that I got from Facebook. So I planted, I had one pot that I planted in the ground and then I had a tuber that I planted a little later right next to it. And the tuber came up and they're kind of intermingled, but they look amazing. And you can see my elephant ear over here. And then I've got my climbing hydrangea, climbing the garage, everything. Everything is just looking so great. There's a lot of weeds, but I'm enjoying every bit of the garden. Weeds and all. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys have any canna lilies in your garden in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video.